Hey guys, so today I'll be doing another first impression and if you read the title above, it's going to be on the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. Well, this is a drugstore product and it ranges from $3.99 I think, um, so it's really affordable and um, the shade I have is in medium tan. I picked this up at my local Walmart but you can find this at CVS I believe and I think Kmart. Um, but when I did look at it at CVS, there wasn't really a big range of colors you can choose from. It kind of varies, so the color selection is kind of small in that area. But um, when I went to Walmart, they had a little bit more to choose from. But then again, the way that they made it, or the way that they displayed it, was very confusing because it was light, fair light, and then it got to like medium light or something like that. So I'm not too sure how much um, shades they actually do have because it varies from store to store that I went to. So if you want to check on it, um, you guys can look it up online because everywhere I went, there wasn't a consistent range of colors to choose from. And a lot of it was a lot of pink undertones. So I needed one with the yellow undertone because clearly I do have yellow undertones to my skin. So I went ahead and got the medium tan. And yeah, so... Um, it claims to be an all-day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin matte finish, and a VC bright complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles. So um, the packaging is very similar to the Clinique Stay Matte Foundation, which I have right here. Um, but of course, it's a lot cheaper. I didn't open it or anything. It still has that foil cover on it. It is a squeeze tube bottle, so it's very easy to control how much um, product you get out. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the back of my hands. So it seems to be a very thick, creamy consistency. Um, it's not dripping, dripping, dripping down whatsoever. And I'm just going to be applying this with my Real Techniques face brush. And as you can see, I am breaking out on my nose, so um, my skin isn't at its best right now. So now I applied it from this half of my face and this side doesn't have really anything. I didn't apply anything on this side of my face. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera but you still can see the redness of this pimple peeking through. Um, but it did cover up the redness around my nose. Um, but you still can see a little bit of my acne scarring on my cheeks. But other than that, um, it does have like a medium coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. So now that I applied it all over throughout my face, um, it doesn't feel sticky at all. It does give a satin matte finish to it, but I'm not too sure if the color is the right shade for me right now. I'm not too sure if it's going to oxidize later on, um, but I mean, it looks good on camera, but to me, I think it's just a little bit too light for me. I'm not too sure, but um, it definitely does not feel like a lightweight foundation if that makes sense because I feel like I still can feel it on my skin. Um, it says it's a medium to full coverage. I think it's a medium coverage because um, it didn't really cover up my pimple right here on my nose. Um, I'm kind of breaking out there so you still can see a little bit of redness peeking through um, but for the most part the redness around my nose this side it did cover that up. Um, I'm not using concealer at all. I'm not going to be setting my face with anything so yeah. Right now it is 10 17 and I'll be back later on in a couple hours to show you guys how it looks like throughout the day and how it wears. I do have some errands to do so I'll be back. Hey guys so I'm here with the last part of my first impression of the foundation and it is now 5 42 p.m. and it's been about a little over seven hours that I've had this foundation on and I applied it without a primer, without moisturizer, without anything like that, and I did apply it with a um, buffing brush from Real Techniques. I didn't set my foundation at all. The only thing I added to my face was a blush, but you probably can't even tell anymore. Um, 
The foundation claims to last all day. Um, in seven hours, I did run errands, I went to the doctors, so I was moving around a lot and the weather today was really, really hot. Um, and I noticed that in maybe three hours, my T-zone was getting really, really shiny, and especially my nose. My tip of my nose got really, really shiny. If you can tell, like, the color kind of just weared off by seven hours already because my pimple is more prominent, and even the tip of my nose, you can see that pimple, like, the redness already coming through, and it's really, really shiny on my face. My face feels really, really oily, like, I can touch my face with my hands, and it gets really like greasy on my fingertips. I don't really like that. Um, maybe it would have been different if I actually applied it the way I normally apply my foundations. I don't know. Um, but um, I wouldn't be using the foundation anymore because it's not a good color match for my skin tone. It's the most, this, it was the darkest um, shade that they had that had a yellow undertone, which was the medium tan that I got. Um, when I went back to the store to look at the shade in tan, it was really, really orange. It looked like a Oompa Loompa. So I don't know what went, Wet and Wild was thinking of when they were doing their shade um, selection, but they need to work on the state. The state. They need to work on the shade um, selection part a little bit better because um, it's gonna be like a CoverGirl foundation, the three in one. It's gonna be a hit and miss for you on your um, shade that you choose. I think it doesn't oxidize or anything. So I didn't see that it oxidized or anything like that. Um, I just felt like it was way too light for me, even though it was a medium tan shade. And um, for me, it was it's claimed to be a lightweight um, type of foundation, but I could feel it on my skin, and I don't really like that. For some reason, with all my other foundations, I don't feel it like, laying on my skin or anything like that. It was really breathable, but not this one. Um, so... Overall, I would give this a maybe 6 to 7 out of 10, I would rate it. But other than that, um, if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up if you want to see more first impressions from me. And if you want me to do a first impression on a certain product, leave it down below as a comment. Um, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>